So she was still in Mississippi when you were in Seattle? Went back to New York? No. They say it takes half the time you're with somebody to get over there. It's a long time for anything. I booked a trip to Scotland to see a couple animals that didn't occur in Ireland. And I told a girl who was on semester abroad and she booked the same flights. I even let her use the camera a couple times. Sorry, this is really rough. The name common chaffinch really doesn't do them justice. They are very, very common chaffinches. We came to Cairngorms National Park to look for black grouse. We got there at 8 a.m., but they were all gone by 5 a.m. We did see this osprey, off in the trees. I wouldn't have spotted it if it wasn't for the other patrons. There's a rehabilitation program in Scotland to bring these osprey back, and so far it's working well. In the park, there are several breeding pairs. This is the only black grouse I saw. I don't think of the common wood pigeon as a big bird. It's bigger than other pigeons, but you really see it here as it bullies these chaffinches. They're picking up the droppings under these feeders. You can see them next to the raindrops. These birds are blissfully careless and drop half of these shelled sunflower seeds on the ground. This great too is working on what looks like peanuts. Amazing how dedicated you can be when you're hungry. I can only imagine the social hierarchy of this pecking order. The Eurasian siskin, the golden bird with the black cap and the middle on the top here, holds its ground pretty well against all these chaffinches. I spotted that spotted woodpecker. In flight. Who would have thought? On our way out, we saw this Eurasian curlew in the field. They're very common. They breed here in large numbers. The Eurasian coyster catcher is also very, very common along the coast. I'm surprised to see him inland, but I guess they both find much insects in the mud. Well, I didn't get to see the black grouse. I did see this ringneck pheasant, a common pheasant. 
such a colorful bird and so tame, I can understand why it's such a popular game species. Alas, we spent a little too long watching the sounds and ended up missing our flight. My cohort explains it best. I like that gave us plenty of time. We left, we left the National Park at like 12.30. We were done and like heading back. And one of the roads was closed, the road that we planned to take, like straight through the National Forest. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, wow. So we missed our flight. The second flight I've ever missed in my life. And it was because of a closed road in the National Park. It was unfortunate, but... I wouldn't have had it any other way. As I said, I've wanted to see a ring-necked pheasant up close and personal for a long time. Ever since I caught a glimpse in Ireland, I've been wanting to see this extremely colorful bird. I can understand, as I said before, why it would be such a popular game species. It's large, it's slow, it's in the chicken family, so it tastes probably very good. And it would look great stuffed, not to mention those very ornamental long tail feathers. Of course, I don't know if I could bring myself to hunt the thing. Oh my god. The tail is huge. I was lucky to see this male with a female. I didn't see any chicks, and she wasn't sitting on a nest. I was feeding calmly, so... It was springtime. I was wondering where the chicks would be, or if they'd fledged, or if she was too juvenile to have offspring this year. Well, she was very skittish and wouldn't let me get as close as the male did. Just an overall beautiful bird.